Good morning, folks. Today is a day where the news will mean about a thousand times more to those who have done their homework. Going to be doing that a lot more from now on. I've got Tier 1 Science news as we begin with our star and find the eastern incoming limb highly active. Several eruptions sent CMEs off approximately 90 degrees behind Earth's orbital position. If anyone saw our earthquake watch posted to community comments this past weekend, that central coronal hole activates the alert now. We'll be monitoring the eruptive behavior for encroachment into Earth-facing heliographic longitudes. We have the sunspots, filaments, and the activity level to warrant the CME watch too. Folks, next week is a major event in the science world, the European Geophysical Union General Assembly. There's going to be hundreds of presentations and talks, and over the next couple of days we'll be sharing some of the expected highlights. We're starting with the solar climate forcing, and we're in the electrical realm. First, with the confirmation of the cosmic ray effect on aerosols, believed to be one of the main pathways of cosmic ray forcing of cloud cover, cloud opacity, as well as lightning and anomalies in the global electric circuit. Next, we've got a new and better correlation regime for the solar wind coupling and atmospheric pressure at the polar regions, and it comes with the recognition that there is yet another undiscovered mechanism of solar coupling they're not yet seeing. Frankly, it makes a bit more sense they're underestimating the effect on the global electric circuit. Next, we're heading to catastrophism, where the next end of the world and the new observer supplement cover the topic of Earth's weakening magnetic field, solar super flares, and more. The latest geomagnetic jerk is being further investigated. Always good to see that. That was the global event, unlike the 2017 jerk, centered on the Pacific sector. A fantastic confirmation up next of what most observers already know. The excursions of the last 100,000 years provide increased radiation and geophysical effects, the peak change moments in our world, and we're about 20 to 30 percent of the way through this next one. Last but not least, leaving the EGU abstracts but sticking with modern catastrophism. We've got heavy analysis and confirmation of what we've come to see as the standard understanding of solar superflare power and their cycles. Hopefully we recall it was the 2021 publication showing that the Sun can have superflares far worse than the 1859 Carrington event on 3,000 and 6,000 year timescales. The only real difference here is not the power, but they actually think that those powerful events can happen much more often on scales of a century up to a thousand years for the biggest events. Either way, the world seems to now agree on what's coming. We greatly appreciate your support. Get all those books at otf.cells.com. Our kids' books are pretty fantastic as well. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.